Hey guys, uh, so what we're doing today is draining out this pond and then hopefully after the pond's drained we can get it all kind of cleaned out and get these guys some nice water. We're also going to put a fountain into the pond so hopefully that this uh, stuff doesn't happen again. And then maybe next time we clean it out we're going to be adding plants and fish I, I hope. Yeah, all the little babies over there. I just took that hose right there, threw it over so that I can do a siphon drain. But we're gonna be draining it out over here into our drain field. We are on a septic tank. So our septic system comes from the house out all the way through up into this area, up and around. We are not supposed to have trees really close to it. But it's okay because on this side of it, they put a hard barrier so that this tree's roots don't get into it and we don't have to replace it a second time. We have already replaced it once and I'm not looking forward to replacing it again if we do have to. A uh, little butterfly. So I'm gonna come out here, come get the hose and bring it out to the drain field. Here's all the little babies. Nice long 100 foot hose. Right where I said, right in the drain field. Getting it untwisted? Yep. Ooh, a lot of, uh... oh, look at this fun mushroom. There's another one out by the uh, back door. Wow. I love fun mushrooms. I'm hoping that when it reaches up over the fence, the, it will pull it. Yeah. So it's not as much of a yeah. thing. So it doesn't look like it, but we are technically downhill from the pond here. So our land comes from here and then tilts back down that way. So you can really tell if you look at the house, how high yeah. it, up it is on that side versus down on the that The cement, side. the, the this yeah. pad. So basically what's happening here is Wyatt is trying to suck the air out of the hose and get the water moving. And once the water has momentum, it'll continue pulling and pulling the water and that's basically how a siphon works. However, what ended up happening is we realized that the hose that we're using, this gray hose that's flat, uh, was not very optimal for using for a siphon. Um, so we tried the other hoses that we have and eventually we did get it to work uh, with a more traditional uh, cylindrical hose. However, the trickle was just not what we were looking for. It was going to take days to get the pond to um, completely drain. So we tried other options. But we completely forgot that we had bought a pond pump. So that'll make it a lot easier, a lot faster. Hey look, I found a friend. Hi. I guess we got some time for that. Oh, that's a lot better than, uh, much better than just doing the side. So we let it sit for a while and we checked on it and it was just not draining at the rate that we needed to. So Wyatt found, or he used the hose that we're going to use for the waterfall and hooked it up, which has a much bigger diameter um, and a much better flow rate. So we're able to, there's a hole. Yeah. Something probably dug it. 
You can kind of see where you're seeing a line there. Hello, chickies. Here are the babies. Alright, here's some beetle. It's dead, but... Did you explain why we have the netting up here? Yeah, it's, I, I explained that we have the netting for uh, predators and to also keep the chickens in and to keep other things out. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And these guys are only about nine weeks old. Yeah, it's already doubled the amount that it's trained. It's going, yeah, it's it's making really good progress. So this is Potato, One-Eyed Willie. He got out and our cat got him when he was about their size. So he only has one eye, um, but he is not a mission chicken like his brothers are just because he's got one eye. So he, he earns special coop privileges. He, and for some reason, he has adopted all of the babies. They hang out with him. They said that they're afraid, but they really don't mess with the big chicks, the big chickens. And the big chickens don't really mess with them, but like, man, they love each other. They hang out. Potato. A potato's a Easter eggger. Gorgeous. Gorgeous chickens these Easter eggers are. I wish we had some females. Yeah. They're like, um, um, I can't reach the water. Excuse me. I better drink this before they take it all away. Yeah. Look at our pretty ducks. They're so pretty. So uh, last year in springtime, or I guess it's this year, springtime, I went and did a control burn on this land. It was just covered with only pines. And uh, now it's a lot more green. You definitely can see some pine needles, but you're not seeing this like two inch layer of dead. And now you're seeing a lot more green growth. Hopefully we're gonna expand the chickens out into that area. Mm -hmm. That's why I haven't really touched it is so that it can grow up a little bit better. Yeah, they're going to have a much bigger, bigger area because we do have a lot of chickens. This is a really decent space. This is more than I think a Most lot people. of people. Yeah, more than a lot of people like more, you know, and you don't necessarily need this much space. But with our ducks, with the amount of chickens that we you want know, to have, that we want to have because we want to have a really good egg production. Uh, is that a mallard? Look, his, his head's turning green. I don't know. Look, his we, head's we did just get green. assorted ducks, so yeah. we don't know. But one of their his head is turning green. It's hard. I can't get closer than this to them because they get they get spooked. Don't get me taters. Don't do it. Go. I'll try and zoom in and, and get closer um, digitally. Woo! But this yeah, here he is. Oh! <laughs> His head is turning wait, green, wait, wait, right wait there. A Big guy right there. So that guy right there in the middle, that guy's Pidgey. Oof, bugs. We we specifically did the whole pond at an angle so that if we did have to drain it, they could get out. Yeah. So it kind of comes in like a at an angle and then, and it then flattens, flattens out, out just like right about there yeah the last foot or so it is pretty deep we wanted it to be deep so that it would stay partially cooled um especially when we add the because we're gonna have fish in here as part of we're gonna try and make our own like filtered system with fish and um plants plants and things like that so kind of have it like self-sustaining where we don't have to put in a ton of maintenance all the time um plan on getting some carp or some koi something that will eat the duck poop and its poop will feed the plants and the plants will feed you know yeah that sort of that sort of life cycle of thing we're gonna go uh measure out our garden beds and at the very least get them get like the outline done of them yeah so all righty
I did it. Okay, so I had to come out here. It's a couple days later after we did all that. Um, once we got it drained, we sprayed it out. Um, basically just got it cleaned out as much as we possibly could and then filled it back up. So within 24 hours, it had already been clogged. So I had to come out here and you'll see, I had to spray it out and everything. Uh, but now, yeah, it's going, it's going good. And hopefully this will prevent um, algae buildup and uh, bugs and things like that. And now we are in a prime stage to start our water ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you liked it. And if you did, you can like or share or do whatever, or, you know, just go about your day and have a good day. <laughs> um, so the next thing is making our raised garden beds. So stay tuned for that one. Alrighty. Bye.